Today, I already started tearing the rear end, or the rear ends back out of this. I gotta get the frame back on the floor so it's nice and flat. My floor might not be, you know, 101% perfect, but it's pretty, I mean, it's level, it's, it's good enough. Uh, I'm just putting the back, this isn't frame work. This is, I just need to add structure to the, to the rear of the body. After I cut it out, it's just like flapping in the wind right now. So, you know, add some structure to that. I might, I might get into this front is, that's too, too abrupt. It would, it, it would work, you know, especially cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a drop axle in this in the whole nine yards. But instead of it just going straight up, then straight flat again, I kind of want to give it like a nice sweep, like a, a nice rounded sweep. And I'm gonna lower it a little bit because this is set up for this normal stock axle and spring and everything. I'm gonna get a drop axle that's gonna lower it four inches. Then I'm gonna put the spring suicide so it's gonna be even lower. It's This needs to be dropped significantly for, in order for the car to stay level when I put the drop axle in, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna add structure to the back. It's very important. Then I need to cut out the fenders a little more because the axle couldn't go up quite as much as it should have. And uh, I need to get a Chevy rear end for this. I'm not gonna use that banjo rear end. I, I gotta get a Chevy rear end. And that's not happening in this video, but that's to come. And I gotta make sure that it's the same exact height as that one was so that the body can, the rear can sit where it does now. So all that is to come. But today, body, sweep the front frame, might take the, I gotta take the front apart. And I have some ideas, like I might put a, because I'm gonna put the suicide spring in the front, it comes off of a plate that mounts onto a pipe. So a pipe will just go across the front of this rather than the, uh, the cross member that's on there for the spring mount. Uh, but I have plans, so let's just go.
deal with this uh <laughs> i'm gonna try to sweep that nice and round like instead of having a sharp edge there and then going flat and then it the horns go back down i'm gonna try to give it a more gradual and at the end point where i mount my pipe which i don't have because no one around here has three inch pipe but where i mount my pipe is going to be 29 inches an uh, engine with a long you know, an engine with like a fan on it, you know, a small block Chevy engine with a fan on it is about 28 and a half inches, 29 inches, depending on, you know, like if you have, if you have like one of these on there extending the fan, like it's going to be even longer, but so I'm going to allow myself, I should just, I, I might make it 30 inches. I'm going to allow myself 30 inches so that I have plenty of room in here. I can kind of pick and choose where I want to mount my engine. And then, yeah. So I got to cut, like, I don't know, 20 freaking cuts on there. But whatever.
still need to fill that in obviously but once that's filled in we'll get her all sanded out nice it looks a lot better it took about six hours to do that so it'll take another six hours to finish this side and do the other side so it's gonna be another day <laughs> 